Five yeas, four nays. That motion is approved or that resolution is approved. A $7 million expansion approved by Detroit City Council Tuesday for what's turned out to be a controversial piece of technology called Shot Spotter, used by Detroit police to detect where gunshots come from. The other day I heard 30 rounds and it, I thought I was in Nam. All right, so yeah, you could put that thing on my property. I don't care. Public comment by the dozens at the meeting before council approved the money to add additional detection devices that pinpoint where gunshots are fired from to alert police officers in real time to respond quicker. We are opposed to shot spotter. It is a, a tool that has not proven itself worthy of our time and our money. Two shot spotters were installed in Detroit in 2020 on the east and west side. Police Chief James White says there is proof they work. That is a 27% drop in gun violence in the 8th and 9th precincts where they're at, compared to insignificant reductions elsewhere. I'm the mother of Kanaya Ryan. This Detroit mother says a shot spotter near where her daughter was killed last summer could have alerted officers to the scene earlier. I'm here in support of Spot Shotter because on that night of July 10th, she was left for dead. Critics of the technology are concerned over its reliability and whether or not it violates civil rights like racial profiling. But ultimately, the expansion is a go. On this map, the light green highlighted areas show where they'll be installed with the new money that will come from a public safety enforcement budget. I hope that the energy continues. Um, because we have a lot of work to do around gun violence in Detroit. It does not stop with shot spotters. Yeah, very good point there by Detroit City Council President Mary Sheffield, who actually voted against this expansion. She says that money still needs to be allocated to social services to really get at the root of what drives crime. And that's also something that Chief White said he will not forget with this latest expansion. Reporting live on Detroit's west side, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Jess, it's so interesting to see how people can frame this. Either way, the people who are opposed to it, the people who are for it, they point to not just what's happening in Detroit, but other cities like Chicago to say, hey, it works or it doesn't. Yeah, absolutely, and it's really a numbers game. You can kind of pick them apart to, to sort of beef up your side one way or the other, but really what stuck out to me, and we had it in this story there, you can see in the 8th and 9th precinct where they have the shot spotter, you saw a significant de decrease in gun-related crimes, especially compared to those other precincts, and I really think that's what the chief wanted folks to hear today. Yeah, he's been pretty vocal about it, and he got his way with the city council today. Jessica Dupnak for us live. Thank you.